welcome back to my country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today i'm coming to you today with a real quick one i think i've got kristen sitting here at the counter and she's cutting up uh i don't know all kinds of stuff for her babies here she's got her laminating machine running and she's just cutting and cutting and cutting getting ready for doing her lesson plans and getting ready for i don't know what projects for her little babies her kindergarteners <laughs> so uh, we've been out shopping today for a little bit and I'm coming to you with a tiny little haul here from Home Goods and a very quick swag that's going to go on my cozy corner. So and I'm going to do a funky bow tutorial in this one, a real quick one. So, all right, let me show you what I got from Home Goods real quick. I got this cute little pedestal that I got this idea from Liz over there at the Traditions for the Seasons. Uh, she used a pedestal like this and put a pumpkin on it. So I think I'm going to use this on my ivy table with maybe pip berries and a pumpkin, something like that. Not sure quite yet what I'm doing with it, but I love this color and this color is in the uh, table runner that I have on the table over there. So I, I thought this was really cute. It was $7.99, $8 at Home Goods. So I got that and I got this cute little bucket. Check it out little glass bucket I really don't have a clue as to what I'm doing with that yet although if y'all remember I have that blue little blue truck I thought I might make my corner shelf over here kind of with a touch of green blue in it out in this area but with the more traditional colors so that's where my mind is going with this but I'm not quite sure what I want to do but I just thought this was cute as a button Really, really cute from Maxerna, it says, handcrafted in China. <laughs> and it too was $7.99. And one more thing, which I just couldn't resist. And again, I think I'm gonna do pumpkins instead of anything in this. Just pumpkins on this. I'm not sure where, maybe on my credenza, but isn't that cute? It is Ray Dunn. Upside down, Ray Dunn. <laughs> but isn't that cute? What is that? Leaf pine cone and acorn. Isn't that cute? So I thought I, that this will land somewhere probably over on my on my hutch over there, some way, somehow, with something in it, but I don't know what yet. So anyway, I thought this was really cute. All right, so that's all I got. Those three things. And I also picked up a, another leaf garland for my three-tier tray. That is not done. I have just have everything stuck in there that I think I'm gonna use for it. I shouldn't have moved, there we go. That I think I'm gonna use for it. So anyway, I'm gonna turn my camera and get it pointed down and I'm gonna start making this swag uh, for my cozy corner. For my cozy corner, it's gonna go in there. So I'll be right, sorry about the lighting. I can push my phone and it causes the background to like come into focus, but then I look like I'm in the shadows, don't I? Woo! <laughs> anyway, I'll get pointed down. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back for just a second here. I just wanted to show you, I'm going to go ahead and put this in fast motion, but I wanted to go ahead and show you the ribbons that I'm going to use for this funky bow. This is a pretty one that I got at Costco last fall. This was, I found this down in the basement, just sitting on a shelf. Isn't that pretty? So I thought I would utilize this. My land, I have enough of it, 50 yards of it. I think I should utilize it, huh? <laughs> so that one, and then I'm gonna use my red truck, one and a half inch uh, red truck ribbon, cute, cute. And then I'm gonna use this pumpkin and then I think I'm gonna throw in a plaid, a red and, and khaki plaid. And I'm just going to make them all 26 inches. As you can see, I didn't even pull out my mat. So I'm just quickly putting this together today as a little project while well, Kristen is here working. But I wanted to show you how I dovetail and I wanted to tell you that I, I'm cutting all of my strips at 26 inches long. which will give me eight inch tails and a five inch loop on each, with each strip. And I'm making a 12 loop funky bow. So let me show you how I dovetail.
fold it in half like that lengthwise. Then I go to the edge. A lot of people go to the fold, but I go to the edge and cut up. A lot of people go to the fold and cut down. It doesn't make a difference which way you do it. You get the same result, a dove tail, which is just making the ends of your ribbon finished and pretty. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna speed up and I'll be back when I'm ready to make this book. Okie dokie, I'm back. And we're at a little different angle here because Kristen's doing some schoolwork and we're trying to watch the privacy of those little children. You know, we gotta be careful. So a little different angle for you guys today. I'm a little crooked, sorry about that. But here we go. As you can see, I have my ribbon cut up, three strips of ribbon for each pattern at 26 inches long. Since this is an even numbered looped funky bow, I'm going to be going through the pattern once with the loop pointed up, my thumb being center up. Then I'm going to turn it the next time through and point it down, and then we'll point it up for the last time through. And you guys will get my drift. So the only thing is, is I need to put five inches out here on my, on my tape measure, so I'm sure to get a five inch loop. So there we go, and then I'm gonna pinch it together, and remember we go back to the back tail and twist it so that we bring the front side forward, the, or the right side forward. So there's the first one. Again, we're just folding each strip in, in half, going, finding five inches, pinching it at that point, and adding it in. Going to that back tail and twisting to bring the right side up. We go with the little red truck. I am going to try to point the truck in the right, in the same direction each time I add a truck to it. So for this time, we're just going to say it's going that direction and I will turn it to go that direction every other time. Five inches. Okay, there we are, one time through the pattern. Now this time, I'm gonna turn the ribbon and I'm gonna point, I'm gonna turn the loop and I'm gonna point it down from center. I'm gonna start through the pattern again and turn it like that and point that loop down. Still going back to that back tail and pointing it twisting it so that it's going in the right direction. Again, turning it down, pinching it together at the five inch point, twisting that back tail, just like that. All right, here we go with the truck. Well, let's see how I can get the truck going in the, I don't really think it matters, but just, I'm gonna try anyway. And I'm gonna have to turn it like that, there we go. and twist. And then one more. And twist. All right, one more time through the pattern, turning the loop to go up from center, my thumb being center. Just like that. twist twist Drop the truck again I think I'm going to need to twist it this time there we go we go. Now, your pipe cleaner, then you're going to go back to the center of your pipe cleaner and lay it right beside your thumb there. Lift your thumb if you can and pull it around to the back. 
use the hand that you've held the ribbon shut with, the loop shut with as resistance, pull really tight, get these fingers up as close as you can to the ribbon and twist. Twist your fingers, I twist both. Some people just twist the bow, some people just twist the, the pipe cleaner. It doesn't matter, gives you the same result. It actually is a little tighter if you twist the bow, so. But then, of course, I can hear you all in unison saying, okay, Arlan, it's time to fluff, fluff, fluff. And that's exactly what time it is. So I'm gonna be fluffing this bow out, pulling all of these loops up and to the front as best as you can, separating the tails out a bit. It's not that important to do that, but also if you need to pull a loop, you can yank on it and pull it, you know, to get it to go where you want. And sometimes it's easier once you get it where you're gonna, where it's gonna land. Boy, that one's really long. That one went a little crazy. There we go. All right, so there we go for now. I'm going oh. to go ahead. Did you have scissors? <laughs> We've been searching for scissors. Do y'all scissors get up and walk away? Mine do, all the time. We've been searching the house for scissors and Kristen just opened her bag and found a pair in her, in her little pencil case there. Good job. <laughs> I do that too. How are you, Kristen? How are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> Getting your lesson plans done? They are done. They are done. Look at you, all organized. The pieces aren't done. Oh, pieces and parts of it. But it's on paper anyway, huh? Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Now, that's good enough for now. I'm going to go ahead and put a very quick swag together. And just using these. Let me put this up a little higher. Hang on. These are two tufts that I got from somewhere. I think Hobby Lobby, but don't quote me. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to put them together as, this, as if this was the front of them because the, the bow is going to go right in the center. I got them pretty close together, and I've got my tie wraps here. I'm going to leave the stems on them because I'm going to be bending it around a corner. So I want to have a lot of space left. I want them a little closer than that. And all the leaves and everything will cover up the stems. I'm not even worried about them being seen. But I want them in there because I want it to be more sturdy. Okay, I think that, that'll do it. All right, I'm going to take some tie wraps, about three of them, and I'm going to shore this up. I'm going to just zip tie them right together here. Zip ties are the very best thing you can use for these. I used to try to use wire. <laughs> And while that worked okay, these work like 5,000 times better. They shore it right up. I'll give you a link for my snippers in the description. They are awesome and they really are good for those of you who might have a little arthritis happening. They are lovely. And one more. Now, before I, I'm going to add some of these to it, and I may add, I have some metal sunflowers. I may add those, like, above the bow, but I'm going to get the bow tied on here first. So, just going to use the pipe cleaner that I closed the bow with. You know what I want to do first, though? I want to I want to make this tie wrap or this uh, pipe cleaner longer because I'm going to tie it around the rung of the ladder in my cozy corner. So I want a black pipe cleaner. I'm going to cut in half so that when it goes around the ladder, all you'll see is the black 
part of the pipe cleaner so that this doesn't stare out at you. Let me get a black pipe cleaner here. And cut it in half. And I'm just going to twist it onto this. And I'm not going to show you the finished product today, y'all know. I'm going to not do that until the challenge goes up. But this is a part and piece, and I'll be back to show you my lantern with Funky Bow Swag, too, which will probably, the, the bow will, might be this, only a little bigger. It'll probably be these four ribbons. Okay. Line it on there pretty tight. There we go. So that'll just go around the rung of the ladder and it'll tie that right on to the ladder. But I want to bend it a little bit so when I configure this, I'll be able to, it's gonna be going around a corner. Okay, now before I mess with that bow too, too much more, Put the sunflower. I might actually just tie the sunflowers in here. I think that would be super cute, huh? I wonder if I could figure out some way to put one like right in the center of that bow. I wonder if I could tie it on. I really don't want to glue it. So I think I'll do two of these on either end. Cute. You guys see? Yeah. Let me get these tied on first. This lag. Do the same at this end. I did want to add, these are some of the red flowers I got from the Dollar Tree. I did want to add a few of these in just to pull in some more of the red. I didn't have a lot of red flowers. So I think I'll just do two on each side. Okay, again with zip ties. song I would sing it with you but I mean I know it but Garth Brooks song I know it is I just Threading it right through 
the pipe cleaner. I'm going to cut off the leaves on this bill. I'm going to do me some fluffing of this bow, and y'all get, pretty much get the gist. Sit here and do some fluffing. There we go. And I will do some more tweaking of it once I get it where it belongs. Check it out. I think that turned out cute. All right, I'll be right back for some final words. Hey, everybody. I'm back with the finished product. What do y'all think? I think it turned, not that y'all can answer me right here, <laughs> but I think it turned out really cute. And of course, once I get it put up on the ladder, I will do more tweaking to it. But for now, I think it looks super cute. Really quick, this is a, probably a good one for a beginning crafter who wants to do a, you know, a quick swag like this. Just get two bunches, big bunches of flowers or two big picks. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. Put them end for end, tie them together with some tie wraps and make yourself a funky bow and you've got a beautiful swag. You can put this in the middle of a table as a centerpiece. I'm gonna hang it and bend it around a corner. You could put it uh, like up, uh, hang it on the middle of a hutch, like up on the top of it, like that. It's something like that, a, a myriad of things. You could do a myriad of things with this. So I'm super happy with how this worked out. It didn't take me very long, as you saw. And I love how the funky bow turned out with all of these ribbons. It was kind of an eclectic mix, but I really like how it, how it worked out. So anyway, I'm gonna go and hang this up and call this a day, you guys. So let me just say that I hope that there is no one out there struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. And if you're out there, I hope that you have somebody in your life who stays with you and helps you get through each day, making each day the very best that it can be. I hope that there's nothing weighing on your mind or on your heart, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits. And I keep y'all in my thoughts and prayers every single day. And I'll be back later this week with more of my Happy Fall Y'all series, decor series. So until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Thank you.